Hello everyone and welcome to Newegg TV. My name is Paul. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview as well as some benchmarks on this new video card from EVGA. This is the EVGA GeForce GTX 650 Ti SSC. Super, super clocked. Let's start off with a closer look at the retail box. There's going to be a variety of 650 Ti's available from EVGA even. And uh, bear in mind that they're going to have different memory capacities uh, as well as different clock speeds. So this is a 2 gigabyte version. It has 2 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory running at 1350 megahertz or 5400 megahertz effective memory clock speed. It's on a 128-bit bus and it can transfer data at 86.4 gigabytes per second. Of course, you also get DirectX 11 support, physics, 3D vision. You can actually push three monitors from this single video card. Uh, it's PCI Express 3.0 compatible, and the SSC being the super, super clocked version means that rather than the uh, stock or reference clock speed for the uh, 650 Ti, which is 925 megahertz, this card runs at 1072 megahertz. Also, we have some more features listed here on the back of the box. I'm not going to go over all these, but you get a lot of 600 series uh, goodness, such as adaptive V-Sync, TXAA, and FXAA. So uh, that, all that stuff's included, all listed right there. Next up, let's take a look at accessories. Take a look inside the box. We have some accessories and documentation uh, for accessories. You have a DVI to VGA adapter. So if you have an older monitor with a VGA D sub 15 pin plug like that one, you can use that to connect it. Uh, bear in mind it will only work with one of the two DVI plugs on the back of the card. I'll show you which one. Uh, also, you get a double Molex to single six pin PCI Express power adapter right there, as this video card does require a six pin PCI Express power connector. Uh, bear in mind also that you're going to want at least a 400 watt power supply for this video card and your entire system if you're going to be installing this. So uh, this is all the accessories. The card's still in there. I'm going to pull that out in just a second. Here you're also going to get an EVGA case badge, just like that. You also get a driver disk, uh, which is probably outdated by the time you get it, so you should download the latest drivers from NVIDIA, the NVIDIA website. Also a generic EVGA graphics card user guide, which will take you through some basic stuff like installing it and what is a PCI Express plug and that sort of thing. Bear in mind, video cards get hot. Don't touch them while they're hot. You'll burn yourself. Also, of course, PCI Express Gen 3 ready. Uh, it's also, of course, backwards compatible with PCI Express 2.0. And since it's really a bandwidth increase uh, that you mainly get from PCI Express Gen 3, this card will still run just fine and practically almost just within a hair uh, as fast on Gen 2 as it will Gen 3. Uh, also, you get a GTX 600 quick start guide there as well with some more information that's a bit more specific to the 600 series of graphics card. Next up, the video card. Here's the video card itself. I'm going to start off with the measurement here. As you can see, it measures just about five and three quarters inches long. So uh, this should fit in most computer cases. Bear in mind, it is a two-slot card, so you're going to need a two-slot spacing available on your motherboard and in your case. But apart from that, the card is very short. should fit in most cases. And uh, yeah, I, I, I like the design of these cards. We first saw this when the GTX 650 came out. 650 Ti is actually a pretty nice boost up from the 650. Uh, it slots in between the 650 and the 660, and uh, you get some nice features such as an extra 100 megahertz of speed on your memory, as well as twice the uh, CUDA cores as the 650 alone. Bear in mind also that the uh, power connector is pointing backwards towards what would be the back of the, your case in most situations, so give yourself a bit of extra space there for cable management, so make sure you can plug in that 6-pin uh, power connector. But there's the power connector. You can also see the sort of uh, black radial fin array of the aluminum fins on the cooler right here. You have a single fan here that's going to be uh, projecting air down and over those fins, help dissipate the heat that's uh, pulled up from the GPU itself, as well as give some airflow over the additional components on the uh, video cards, such as the power delivery. Uh, one of the customizations EVD EVGA does uh, with a lot of 600 series cards is they've given you wider slots here at the back of the video card, and that's just to help air move more freely out the back of your case, uh, which is a great solution because uh, getting that air outside of your case is going to do less to uh, raise the internal ambient temperature for the rest of the components in your computer. Since we're here at the back, uh, might as well point out again, double slot uh, uh, PCI Express, two slot card right here, so uh, again, keep that in mind. Here are your video outs right there. This is a dual, uh, I'm sorry, this is a DVI dual link connector right there. You got two of those. This one over here has your analog connectors. So if you're going to use that DVI to VGA adapter, use it with this plug. It will not work with this plug. This is digital only. And then finally, you have a mini HDMI connector right there. Uh, so you can actually power up to three displays out of this single video card, uh, which can set you up for NVIDIA surround as well as uh, multi-display multi gaming solutions. 
Apart from that, uh, you have this sort of shroud. It's uh, partially enclosed. There's a bit of open space so that'll uh, allow a little bit more airflow over those uh, fins. Also, uh, you have some EVGA logos, the GeForce GTX 650 Ti right there, as you can most likely see. And then now uh, you got your PCI Express connector down there at the bottom. Again, PCI Express Gen 3, backwards compatible. It's the same physical connector as uh, any PCI Express Gen 2 card. Uh, just can give you a bit more bandwidth if you connect it to a PCI Express Gen 3 motherboard. Here at the back we can see the PCB is a nice uh, sort of semi-glossy black color, uh, which is very nice. Uh, if you're into the color scheme in your case, that will definitely help it match. You can see some of the memory arrayed there at the back as well. And uh, next up we're going to move on to some benchmarks. And for comparison, I've uh, put this up against the GTX 650 alone, as well as the GTX 660. And as you can see, um, 650 Ti is going to give you a nice boost over the 650 uh, non-Ti and it's going to slot in right in between the 650 and the 660. So there are your benchmarks, and that is going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Once again, this has been the EVGA GeForce GTX 650 Ti SSC, or Super Super Clocked Edition. I'm Paul with Newegg TV, and if you enjoyed today's video, you can find more on our Newegg YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.